Hey everybody, and Tony here. I know I was supposed to do another Blast from the Past review of Donizetti's Ana Bolena, starring Maria Ladevia and Laura Polverelli, live from Verona, which was broadcasted in 2007. But I wanted to dedicate this time to give my salutes to a very fine and wonderful German Helden Tenwa of the 20th century who just celebrated his 100th birthday four days ago. I'm of course talking about Hans Hopf, who I heard on a radio transmission in courtesy of Bay Air Classic. Now a little bit of history of who this tenor was. Hans Hopf was born on August 2, 1916 in Nuremberg. He had his vocal studies in Munich with the basso Paul Benda until he made his professional debut at the age of 20, singing the role of Pinkerton from Puccini's Madama Butterfly in Augsburg. He initially started out singing lyrical tenor roles like Tamino from Zauberflöte, Cavaradossi from Tosca, and Albert's Fra Diavolo, just to name a few roles he's done during his tenure as a lyric tenor. It wasn't until 1946 that he made the transition to singing more dramatic tenor slash Helen tenor roles like Giordano's Andrea Chenier, Verdi's Otello, Puccini's Kalaf from Turandot, Walter von Stolzing from the Meistersinger von Nürnberg, Parsifal from Parsifal, Max from Der Freischütz, Siegfried from Wagner Siegfried and Goethe Demerung, Lohengrin, and many other fine roles of the Helen Tenor repertoire. He was much in demand as Walter von Stolzing as he also sang this role at the Bayreuther Festspielhaus during the 1950s. His stage partners included the likes of Astrid Varnay, who he also sang Turido to her Santuzza, Mariana Schech, who also sang her Madalena to his Chenier, Hans Hermann Nissen, who also collaborated with him in a great number of times, Christel Goltz, who also sang his Leonora from Trovatore, and Turandot, and many, many other fine singers of the 20th century. The highlights from this radio transmission were listening to his rendition of Fanget an from Wagner's Die Meistersinger von Nuremberg, Elucha van Lestelle sung in German from Puccini's Tosca, his final duet from Andrea Chenier with Marianne Schech as Madeleine, the Emperor's aria from Richard Strauss's Die Frau ohne Schatten, and of course, the one that really wrapped up the entire radio transmission, Rienzi's Prayer, Almechka Vater Blick ich herab, from of course, Wagner's Rienzi, Der Letzte die Tribune. So based on all of the wonderful excerpts, I really have to agree with a lot of the critics about Hans Hopf and his really secure musicianship and really secure technique. He has a very wonderful voice which is so elegantly preserved on records and even on a lot of YouTube uploads. His voice had that ring and ping, that signature squillo, but also that warm tone which he was very well known for. He had a voice that was so fine, mixing great musicianship with great theatricality and a heap of determination to really make this tenor who he was and how he was established during his time. He had one of the finest Helen tenor voices ever, totally up there with the likes of his predecessors being Lauritz Melchior, Seth Svalenholm, Max Lorenz, Wolfgang Wingassen, Ramon Vinay, and many, many other Helen Tenors of the past. His renditions of his excerpts were very wonderfully sung, and it showed that he was one of the finest Helen Tenors ever, who really had a secure instrument, great amounts of musicianship, and just a lot of theatricality, and style to really make his roles come alive. So with that said, I salute Herr Hans Hopf for 100 years of his awesomeness and his musicianship 
and for being a very awesome tenor who really had a wonderful career. And even though he passed away in 1993 in Munich, I have to give my hugest tributes to such a fine Helden Tenwa like him, and may his exciting legacy be forever preserved. Well, that's all for now, and for those of you who want to also listen to some excerpts of what I heard from the radio transmission, you can also find the links right on the description box below as uploaded by one of my other favorite opera YouTubers, Adio Belpasat. So, Adi, if you're watching this right now, I hope you enjoyed this little tribute I made to Hans Hopf, and thank you so much for the awesome material you have on your channel. And tune in later for my review of the 2007 broadcast of Donizetti's Ana Bolena, starring Maria Devia and Laura Polverelli. So until then, have a great summer, everybody.